guys, it's Shannon. And Paul. And today we have a brand new product from Cryptozoic Entertainment. It's the Street Fighter the Lil Street Knockouts. Fighters. Awesome. Yeah, so these are so cool. We want to thank Cryptozoic for sending these to us to take a look at and share with you guys today. We saw a sneak peek of these at Toy Fair and they were amazing. Yes. So um, these are same cans, same little canister concept like the little bombshells, if you're familiar with those. Yeah. There are 12 in the series. These collector cans are awesome. They are. Here are all the figures you can get. There are two exclusive, like, variant repaint repaints, mm -hmm. and those are difficult to find. They are. So, we're going to hope to find a full set. If not, we're going to open the full case, and Paul wants to go first. He was, like, chomping I at the bit over here. Uh, okay. He was, like... He's like like this, like, oh, let me get one. <laughs> yeah. So I used to love the Street Fighter video game. Um, so I'm really excited about these. My favorite character that I always played when I played the game was uh, Chun Li, just because I was the best with her. Um, so I, I think I, I'm looking forward to getting her the most, but I also want to see Blanca and Guile because I also really like them too. Okay, good luck. So I'm hoping to get them. And hey, Cap, uh, Capcom. Uh, Cryptozoic, if you guys want to do Mortal Kombat figures, I would love oh, to yes. see those. Mortal Kombat. We had that stand-up video game. We did. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I got Dean. That's how he would talk. <laughs> if he was American. He's a Russian wrestler. But I imagine he would talk, sound like Macho Man Savage if he was American. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing really small briefs, and I've got a huge body. <laughs> 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 That's pretty funny, Paul. He looks cool. Wow. He is really good looking. All right. So Zangief. This is kind of strange because like, this is basically the first little bombshell kind of character that I've held that's a, a guy. That's not a bombshell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a non-bombshell bombshell? Yep. All right. I'm going to go ahead and open this one. Okay. Good luck. I feel like I should let you open the whole case, though, because... Ooh. You are like Here. really excited. I'm going to take some of this plastic off of these. Yeah, this plastic. Oh, really oh. <laughs> there he goes. Look at his He's gone. And I hit the camera. There we go. Whew, that plastic does stretch. Okay, I have somebody with yellow hair. Oh, Guile? It's Ken. Ken. Are these sealed? Yes. Yeah. But they were. It's like a bag of chips. It is. Okay. They're all that and like a bag of chips. <laughs> so that's Ken. Yep. Very nice. Yeah, you're right. It's funny because yeah. the Cryptozoics figures are very unique. There aren't any other figures on the market like them, but we've only seen the There's little bombshells. Yeah. yeah. That is so it's awesome. Just funny. Good Didn't job, hold... Cryptozoic. These are yeah. great. These are. Okay. Let's open. Open up. Maybe you should have opened one of the ones you already got the plastic. I'm going to take some off, too. Never. <laughs> <laughs> that would be taking the easy way out. Is that what Ryu would do? I don't know. I don't know either. Oh! There you go. One of the ones you wanted. Blanca. Casa? <laughs> Casa Blanca. Pretty, pretty good. Nope, it's Blanca. <laughs> oh, this one looks great. He looks like Sonic the Hedgehog with this hair back like that. <laughs> kind of does. Kind of does. Blanca. Oh, that's so neat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Blanca was very feral. We beginning. need to move this bag just a little bit so we can see them better. There we go. Okay, are those empty cans over These there? These are empty cans. Oh. Oh, you got Chen Lee. This is one of your other ones. Here. I should have let you open it. No, it's okay. I will try and get Kimmy. That's Sakura. That's not Chun Li. No, you're right. It's not. My <laughs> bad. I thought I thought it was one of the later later versions of her. No, not in this series. This is Sakura. Okay, Sakura. There, she is. Cool. I was. Thrown, thrown off by the little sailor outfit. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like Sailor Moon. She does. Kind of. Except for not. Except for not at all, no, but... You know. <laughs> I like her. She's cute. 
So you still have a chance to get I do. the one you Oh, wanted. I sat there and watched you open it. I didn't open any up. Oh, I think I got one of the variants. Yes, you did. Ooh, Ryu. this is awesome. Just like Dark Ryu. Ryu. He's gonna... Oh, he is so cool looking. He's cool I love looking. the red eyes. I like his hair, too. I wonder how much hair gel it would take to do that. Probably a lot. Probably quite a bit. Yeah, and I had to have people with fans walking behind me the whole time to have my little blowing headscarf your hair blowing. Forward. Well, blowing my hair forward and blowing my headscarf out to the side. Or my little headband. That's a neat looking figure. That is. Okay, I just pulled the plastic off oh, this okay. one. I think I have regular. Yep, yeah. regular Ryu. Ryu back to back. That's an awesome figure. I like that it's exactly the same, just repainted. So like Paul said, you know, he still needs the fan and yeah, lots of hair gel. And that's right. Those things are important. They are important. This is a great series. It is. See, that's the thing, you didn't even ever play the video game. I didn't play series. the video game, but now I kind of want to. Oh, I got a bison. That's Mr. Bison to you. <laughs> I can't remember if he, I think it was General Bison or Colonel Bison. I cannot remember. I think it was General. But he looks good. He has to be a bad guy. Oh, he's a bad guy. Yeah, he's he's he like has to be. he's like the bad guy of the series. The biggest bad guy of the uh -huh. all. M Bison. The M stands for Mega. The M stands for Millionaire. <laughs> yeah, um, I, uh, yeah, he probably is with all the quarters that went into that game from me in the in the eighties. Here, he's doing well. I'm gonna put him over here so we can see him a little bit better right okay. now. Okay. Yeah, he's doing just fine with all the quarters. Yeah. Hey, here's Akuma. Cool. Cool. Akuma. Akuma Matata. Yeah, Akuma Matata. So he looks like one bad dude. He does. He kind of scares me. Oh, he's got a a man ponytail. I don't know what they're called. He has a ponytail on the top of his head. He See? does, and he's got a symbol on his back. I don't know what that means. Probably bean curd or something. Mm, but, probably not. <laughs> I like his little ponytail. <laughs> he's like, okay, hey, do mess with me. That's right. I like all the wraps he has on his wrists. Yeah, he's like, it's an homage to my mummy ancestors. <laughs> Okay, so... I got Chun-Li. Chun well, there you go. See? Oh, she looks really cool. She looks exactly like, exactly like she did in the video game. She had these like little bonnets on her hair bun things. I don't know. And she had this uh, like this windmill kick thing that she would do. Which was really cool. <laughs> it was like the one special move I could do, which is why I always played her. <laughs> you knew how to play that. I one. knew how to play this character, so <laughs> and, I, and I could I could almost beat the game. So cool. Do we okay, have here? Let's we'll just slide everybody down. Okay. Yes. Yeah, she she gets to go front and center for you. She does. Yes. Okay. So we still need Cammy, which I really want to see Cammy. Yeah. And we need. Zangief? No, we got Zangief. Where is he? Right there. there he is. So we don't need him. We need, we need one of the variants, and maybe. Guile. And Guile. Is yep. that it? That's it. Okay. Come on, Cammy. Oh, it's somebody with yellow. Ooh, it's Guile. Oh, cool. Now, Guile. I know there are some people out there watching that have seen the Street Fighter live action movie. There's probably one or two of you out there that are watching and have seen it. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, Guile was played by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Really? In that, yeah, really. That's funny. So if I'm remembering that right, please leave a comment. Let me know. If I'm remembering it wrong, please correct me. But yes. He's the original cheese head. <laughs> he's got cheese head. His hair is like a cheese head from yeah, football. Yeah, kind of popped little holes in it. Yep. So I like his American flag tattoos on both arms. Yep. He was cool. Now, he had this weird scissor kick thing. That he would Ooh, do. Oh, that's pretty fancy. Which 
which I knew how to do too, so oh, I would play him a while. Him. So. Okay. Oh my! That is awesome! Wow! That's the coolest, like, variant. Oh yeah, this is cool. That's the coolest variant I've seen. I feel like... He's a gummy bear. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that he was this character in a later video game. But I don't know for sure, so I am going to call him too much grape soda. <laughs> and bison. But he is awesome. Or like Shannon said, gummy bear bison. <laughs> he looks like a giant gummy yeah. bear. This is what happens if you eat too many gummy bears. You turn into one. Yeah. You are what you eat. Oh, he looks so cool. <laughs> so this is M. Bison in the variant form. So we got both variants. Wow. Wow. That's cool. So we have one left. Will you hand me that last one, please? I will. I'm hoping this is Cammy. I hope it is. Because I really you. wanted to see Cammy. It is. That was a great box. It was, yeah. So there's Cammy. Yep, there's Cammy. She has her pigtails of awesomeness. <laughs> and leg paint of awesomeness. Yes. Because you're just tougher when you paint your legs camo. You don't wear camo pants. You just paint your legs camo or tattoo them camo. Well, yeah. That just Obviously. makes you cooler. So there is Cammy. All right. Let's take another look at these. There are the two variants right there. Gummy Bear and Bison and Dark Ryu. Those are awesome. They are. And then here is the rest of the set. These figures look incredible. They really do. And if you're a fan of Street Fighter, you're definitely going to want to check these out. And even if you're not, because I never played the game, but now I kind of want to based off these figures. These figures are so cool. They make me want to play. They are. They really are. Okay, Shannon, we've got to pick favorites, but we're not picking Gummy Bear Bison or Dark Ryu. Okay, well, you can just stay right there because I'm going with Cammy. Cammy! And yep. the pigtails of awesomeness. Is that what got you? Or the camo paint pants? The camo paint pants. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. So I love all these figures. It, I really I really don't have a favorite figure because I love them all. But since, since we play the game and we pick, I'm going to go with Blanca as being my favorite figure. I really... I loved playing him in the game. I thought he was really cool. Um, and he reminds me of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> He's just a cool green figure. Uh, Chun-Li, I still love you. I remember playing a video game with you all the time, and, I, and you're still my best character, but Blunt is my favorite figure. So, all right, how about you guys? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you like the best. Let me know about that Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, thing with the movie also. I'm Now I'm curious. Okay, uh, leave the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the share button so your friends can see it, and make sure you subscribe to PS Toy Reviews. We want to thank Cryptozoic one more time for sending these awesome figures, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.